Welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video, we'll consider an example on properties of system. The system being considered here is it's a continuous time system. Y of t is equal to x of minus t. The task here is to determine is this system linear, time invariant, memoryless, causal, and stable. So we'll test this system for five different properties. So to start with, we'll consider the very first property that is linearity. We'll test is the system linear or not. Before we start with the properties, let, let us try to understand what the system is. So I'll draw the system, I'll draw a block diagram, I'll draw a simple block and I'll feed this system with the input x of t and it produces the output y of t and the system operator is h of t. So what is y of t in this case? It is x of minus t. So what the system does here? So it, it, it provides the reflection. So doing the reflection is the nature of the system. So that means wherever it finds t, it replaces that with minus t. So that is the nature of the system. That is how the system behaves. So to start with, let me again uh, come back to linearity property. The property of linearity says that any system is said to be linear if it satisfies the properties of superposition and homogeneity. To consider that, I need at least two inputs. Let the inputs be x1 of t and let me say x2 of t. First, I'll scale the input x1 of t by the factor a1 Later, I'll scale the second input by the factor a2 and I add these two inputs. Now, I give this system, give this input to the system of operator h so that I'll get the output y1 of t. So, what is the output in this case? For that, I should know how the system behaves. I already said how the system behaves. So, wherever it finds t, it replaces with minus t. That is how it that is how the system behaves. So if this is the input a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t, what is the output now? So it is a1, so it is, it doesn't contain any t, it, it just keeps as it is. So now x1 of t I have, so x1 of t gets replaced with minus t. I'll get x1 of minus t. Similarly plus a2, there is no t here, it, it retains a2 as it is, x2 of t it is. So now it is becomes x2 of minus t. So this is what I get in the first half of linearity property. So next I have to consider inputs independently. So let the input be x1 of t. First give this input to the system of operator h. I'll get the output. This time I call it as y dash of t. So what is my y dash of t now? So x1 of t is the input. I'll get the output as x1 of minus t. So later I'll scale this by a1. So this is what I get after scaling operation. Similarly, I'll consider another input. This time I call it as x2 of t. I'll give this to the system of operator h so that I'll get the second output. I call it as y double dash of t. So what is my output now? It is x2 of minus t. So later I'll scale this by a factor a2. I'll get as a2 x2 of minus t. So this is what I get after scaling. So next task is to add y dash of t with y double dash of t. So whatever I get I call it as y2 of t which is equal to y dash of t plus y double dash of t. So in this case what, what is that going to be? It is a1 x1 of minus t plus a2 x2 of minus t. This is what I get. So now the task is to compare y1 of t with y2 of t. Whether are they equal or not. So if I compare these two, these two are equal. Hence I would say the given system is linear. The answer we got it to be linear. So moving on, the next property is time invariance. So let me write that. So we'll test the second property which is time invariant. Time invariant property says that any system is said to be time invariant 
if a shift in the input leads to an identical time shift in the output. That is the definition. So in that I will consider the first half of the statement, a shift in the input. Input is x of t. Shift in the input means x of t minus t naught. So first give this to the system of operator h so that I will get the output y of t. So what is the output now? So that depends on the nature of the system. So I said wherever it finds t, it replaces t with minus t. So that is the nature of the system. So in this case, x of, so here t is there, it replaces this with minus t. Plus t, no, minus t naught doesn't come into picture, so it is a constant, it retains it as it is. So it replaces only t with minus t, rest will remain as they are. So this is what I get in the first half. Similarly, now I will consider a shift in the output. It is y of t minus t naught. What is this equal to? So to write this, I will consider the expression first. y of t is equal to x of minus t. So to get y of t minus t naught from y of t, how is that possible? I have to replace every t with t minus t naught. So here x of minus t it is. So minus t minus t naught. So if I simplify it further, I would get x of minus t plus t naught. So this is what I get in the second half. So the task is to compare these two. Is y of t shift in the input equal to identical time shift in the output? <coughs> so if I compare as they are not equal, I would say the given system is time variant. The output is varying with the time. So that is the conclusion. So moving on to further, the third property we are testing this for memoryless. The task is to say does the given system has any memory or is it memoryless? If the output at any given time depends on the input at that time only, I would say the system is memoryless. Or else, if the output at any given time depends on the input of past or the future values. I would say the system has memory. So let, let me consider that. The system first y of t is equal to x of minus t. So let me test. I want to find the value or the output at t equal to 1. So what do I get? So put t equal to 1. So I would get y of 1 equal to x of minus 1. So y of 1 is the present value of the output x of minus 1 is the past value of the input. So hence it is depending on past values. So I would say that the given system has memory. So in this case one example is enough to prove it is having memory. So moving on further, the fourth property is to test it for causality. So we need to test is the given system causal or non-causal? The definition of causality says that any system is said to be causal if the output at any given time depend on the present or past values of the input. Such systems are causal. In case if it depends on any of the future values, the system is non-causal. Let me test that y of t is equal to x of minus t that is the system so if i put t equal to 1 i would get y of 1 equal to x of minus 1 so I, in that case i proved uh, the output depends on past values so let me test for other cases so let me put t equal to minus 1 and see what do i get so if i put t equal to minus 1 y of minus 1 is equal to x of minus of minus 1, it is x of plus 1. So y of minus 1 is the present value, x of 1 will be the future value of the input compared to minus 1, t equal to minus 1. So as it is depending on uh, future values of the input, I would say the given system is non-causal. So moving on, the last property is to test it for stability. Stability says that any system is said to be 
bounded input bounded output stable if every bounded input leads to a bounded output in simple words if a finite input leads to a finite output i would say the system is stable so let me consider that x of t is the input let me consider the magnitude of x of t make it a finite value i'll make it less than or equal to mx which is a finite positive number less than infinity so i'll make the input finite so what is my output output is y of t magnitude of that which is equal to in this case magnitude of x of minus t the reflected version of the input is that less than or equal to any finite number so in that case the, i would say the answer is yes because x of t is the input i'll make it finite the reflected version of that that is x of minus t will also be a finite output will also leads to a finite output a bounded input will lead to a bounded output hence the system is stable so this is what the conclusion is so just to brief it up the system to be considered here is y of t is equal to x of minus t we have tested this system for uh, linearity and we got the answer yes the system is linear and we have tested this for uh, time invariance and we got the answer as not it is not time invariant rather it is time variant and we have tested this for memory less no we got the system has memory and we tested this for a causality and so we got it as no it is non causal as it depends on few of the future values and lastly we have tested this system for stability yes we got the answer to be stable so this is all about the properties uh, an example on properties of uh, system thanks for watching